What's going on troops? Jeff Bowders here and I'm back with a brand new lesson series entitled Double Bass Fills That Dominate because that's what double bass fills do. They dominate. I'm super excited about this. So let me know in the comment section if you would like me to create more of these lessons. So in our quest and our mission to spread and reinforce the notion that double bass is a technique and not a style because you can utilize double bass in virtually any style of music. Today, we are gonna check out more of a groove-based fill in actually the in a jazz fusion type of song. And the drummer of this fill is, of course, the living legend, Vinnie Kaliuta. Since this is a groove-based fill, you can obviously use it as a standalone fill as well. So to help you utilize and understand this to the best of your ability, make sure to click the link below to download the free PDF that covers everything we are gonna learn in this lesson. So this fill is from a song called Tsunami off the Blue Tab album by jazz fusion saxophonist Steve Tavillion. Vinnie Caliuta plays on this whole album, but this song in particular we could actually do a whole lesson series on because Vinny basically solos over the entire thing. It's insane double bass fills, metric modulation, just, just your general Vinny insanity ensuing all over the place. It's pretty epic. If you haven't checked it out, you got to do it. You're going to dig it. All right, let's get after it. So this fill is based around a quarter note triplet or three against two. Or for you music school aficionados out there, the hemiola. <laughs> Good job. You got your money's worth. So the first thing we have to do is develop the quarter note triplet on the bass drum against just a quarter note ride cymbal pattern. This is exercise one. Okay, cool. So now let's do the exact same thing, but now with our snare and ride cymbal. But the only thing that we're going to change is that quarter note triplet on the snare drum. We're actually going to start that one eighth note triplet later, and that's going to put it on the middle note, the middle triplet note of beat one. This is sometimes referred to as a displaced quarter note triplet. And for what it's worth, it's actually my favorite, but right now it's just exercise two. All right, now what do you think we're going to do? Of course, we're going to combine exercises one and two because this is really the foundation for this double bass fill that dominates that we're dissecting right now. I know that was a lot of D's, but whatever. I hope you've been counting eighth note triplets so far. By counting, this will really help remove any doubt or unnecessary confusion as to what you should or should not be playing. So super helpful, make sure you're counting. Let's do it. So this is exercise three, time to put it all together, Rod Morgenstein style. So here we go. Now the time has come for our double bass domination. So super simple. All we're going to do here is just play a left foot bass drum after each right foot bass drum. This is going to create two 16th note triplets on every single quarter note triplet. I know that may sound kind of confusing. So let me just demonstrate it right now so you can see that it's really not that complicated. One, two, three. All right, now that we've established that, let's play it the way Vinny does. So coordination wise, actually nothing changes at, at all. All we need to do now is round out or spread out those two 16th notes on our bass drums so that they're evenly subdivided with the snare drum. And what, what this is actually gonna do is create a, a nine tuplet or 
non-uplet for you music people out there, over two quarter notes. So it's basically a, a nine over two polyrhythm. And I know that that sounds crazy and madness, but it's really not. So let me just demo it for you right now so you can hear how attainable this is. This is 4B. One, two. Can you hear how it has more of a round sound to it? It's not so square and rigid like, like the straight 16th notes. It's actually kind of harder to hear at those slow tempos. It's a little bit easier at the faster tempos to hear. So, so let me play both of these back to back, just the straight 16th note version and then the, the spread out nine tuplet version. So you can really hear and distinguish how each one sounds. One, two. Okay, so this is a super fun fill that once you get the hang of, you can you can orchestrate this thing all over the kit actually. So here's just one simple way that you can utilize it or orchestrate it with snare drum, tom one, and tom three. Just always play snare on, on beats two and four for the backbeat, and that's gonna help maintain that, that groove fill concept that we've been working on this whole time. So here we go. This is the orchestrated version of 4B. One, two. Hey, if you've made it this far, hopefully that means that you've got some value from this lesson. And if you did, can you please hit that subscribe and like button? That's all the thanks that I ask of you. So if you could do that, that would be amazing and I'd greatly appreciate it. Okay, I hope this gives you some ideas about how to use this really popular one note with the hands, two notes with the feet combination. Of course, Vinny has to apply it in a crazy polyrhythmic way, but as you can see, by breaking it down the way we did and slowly building into it, it's actually not that confusing at all and should just be really fun to play. So let me know in the comment section if you've actually heard this album, this crazy blue tab album that Vinny just destroys on it. And also let me know if there's any other double bass fills that dominate that you would like me to do future lessons on. That'd be super helpful and you know I just wanna serve you, so let me know, okay? So as always, thank you so much for watching this. Super appreciate it. Until next time, stay focused and practice with purpose. We'll see you soon.